Speaking of equipment changes, a few weeks ago, you go into a golf <laughs> superstore and buy a putter for $39. The guys in the shop gave you a deal because it was originally listed at like 60 something dollars. You go in there and that ends up being a big part of your quest and race and the successful race to $10 million. And you know what I feel so bad about is I can't remember the name of the store. <laughs> and then they were asking me and I, I want to, I would love to pump those guys and uh, they know I'll probably send them a letter and uh, but it was just uh, it was a nine-hole golf course real close to TPC at Boston. They had a huge superstore of clubs, 300 putters, and I ended up with this one because it was the only heel-shafted putter in the entire pro shop that didn't have a line on it. It's a nice $39 investment for $10 million. I ended up with this one because... <laughs> Joe and Lee's, that's it. And I felt so bad, I wanted to say it on TV just to, to pump the store, and I, and I couldn't remember it. I couldn't remember. It was like 65 bucks, but they sold it to me for 39, I think. I didn't ask for that, trust me. I didn't barter. It was used. It was a used putter. It's got a nick on the uh, on the back flange. It's got a little ding on the top line. It, it's it's uh, it was Calx. The, the, I never loft and lied it, which is rare for me because I'm always got my putters in a loft lie machine at home and. Uh, the, the grips on the way it was on, I never, you know, it might be slightly off center, but it's kind of how I like them anyway. And I guess we were meant to be. I don't know.